All right, so I'm gonna need you to lean in a little close, but, but not too close. Okay, right there, that's perfectly fine because I need to tell you something very important and that is learn to discover yourself, my guy. What? Now, what does that mean? You're probably already asking. Learning to discover myself? What, am I some kind of hidden artifact in ancient Egypt that somehow needed to be dusted away thousands of years later by some English archaeologist in the 19th century? No, 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 that's not what I mean here. In reality, what I mean by discovering yourself is really ask yourself questions about who you are, where you come from, all of that shebang. You see, sometimes in society, we lose ourselves and we lose our individuality that makes us who we are and also diminishes the creativity that allows us to stand out from the crowd and be unique with the skill sets that were given to us and that we were able to develop over time. And when we lose all of that, that individual aspect of ourselves, then that means we're kind of losing ourselves in the process. And sometimes we kind of need to sit back take a few moments to think about it and say and really really discover who we are and what we're meant to do in this life you see now the process of discovering ourselves really has a couple of key phases the first one is obviously reflection and what i mean by reflection it usually just means having to sit back take a moment to have a breather after you know a hard day's work grab a beer with the boys although not really because trust me for this phase you kind of just want to be with yourself and just allow yourself to just think about everything that you've done up until that point in your life. Now, this doesn't have to be existential. I pray that it doesn't become existential because the whole point of this exercise is really to just allow yourself to be what you kind of want to set yourself out to be by looking at past experiences with family and friends and work and passion projects and hobbies. And when you all look at all of that and you see like the correlations between certain things and the common themes within, it, within them, then you kind of start to realize, well, I kind of like art. I like making art for, for this X amount of reasons. Or, you know, maybe I like reading and writing, maybe because of X, Y, and Z. And you start slowly realizing that the type of person that you are based on your experiences, and that's all thanks to just taking a sit back and relax for a couple of minutes or so. So that's number one. That's number two is actualization. When you actualize yourself in the discovery process and you realize that all of these things in your life does have a common theme within them, and you kind of box them out and you kind of underline and you write it down. And I really mean by writing it all down, you write everything about your life and you try to find and connect those dots. And when you do all that, you actualize it because you finally manifested it and you've put it in a physical form, whether it's in a piece of paper or in a document or even on your phone with, you know, the note app that we all have and most likely I've never used at one point. Unless you're me who just wants to write a book one day and has like thousands of notes, but that's just a stereotype for beginner writers. It is what it is. Anyway, tangent aside, once you actualize all of that, then it basically allows you to be more of who you are because you're seeing it in that piece of paper you're seeing it right in front of you and you realize from that reflection you're making it into a reality and you're saying oh so this really is me at the end of the day this is discovering myself now this is the type of person that i really want to be or rather this is the type of person i've always been but i never realized it up until this point now i'm actualizing it and with that leads us to the third phase where once you've reflected and once you've actualized the third one is execution now execution can take time because trust me it doesn't necessarily have to be at that moment in time. Once you finish writing, now you can be like, oh my God, now I'm gonna be a famous artist now. Like, and you nonstop grind, hustle, culture thing. No, 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 no. That's, that's not what I mean, okay? Like, come here closer. No, please do not do that. All right, move away from here. Now, what I mean by execution is you take your time with it. Once you've actualized all the things that, you know, makes you who you are during that discovery period, then little by little, you sort of implement that in your life a little bit more. You start to make more sense of it and pay more attention to it now that you know all of those connecting dots and all those details about your life and your experiences. So you just focus more on those aspects. And from there, you tweak your life little by little into being the person that you wanna be. So for example, if you've always been a creative person, whether it's in the arts, the literatures, 
or you know social media in terms of you know uh, video editing and the bunch if you've always had that creative mindset then obviously once you've obviously once you're done i don't know what happened to me there but once you're done reflecting and actualizing and you're in the execution process you start to learn a little bit more about video editing or maybe you have done video editing because you've done a you know a video presentation for a school project and you really enjoy doing that so once you pay attention to all those things then you start to really implement it in your life you start to do more video editing tutorials or maybe you want to do a youtube channel about whatever topic you feel like talking about but because of you really taking that time to reflect and to put it all on a piece of paper for you to see and truly truly actualize then that execution process is like a no-brainer you start to kick in in high gear you don't even think about it and next thing you know you're probably a high paying editor for a big youtube channel out there or maybe you're a big content creator out there because everything that you've actualized at that point because you've written it down and you reflected on it is all there to help you out and you became that person you've always meant to be you really really discovered yourself along the way with the execution process and so remember guys always make sure to discover yourselves each and every single day reflect actualize and execute because trust me it'll go a long way towards improving your life and being the best version of yourself and being the most individualistic version of yourself because each and every single one of you have so many incredible gifts and skills out there that will truly define the type of person that you've always meant to be